I watched the next episode of House of the Dragon, episode Ooh. 7. Ooh, okay. You gotta see the dragon parts, and god were there dragon parts. Oh my gosh, you're gonna be very oh, happy. Oh, really? Oh, okay, okay. Oh my god. Oh, they're on the beach. Oh my god. So which one's her dragon? The one behind oh, her. Oh, that's the new one. Okay, that's Sun Smoke. Sea Smoke. So Sea Smoke, okay. And hers is Cyrax. So Beautiful. She's, she basically went out to find out, like, who the hell this guy is. Understood, my queen. Nice. Nice. Nice! Boy, that was a gift. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's so beautiful. They're gorgeous. Beautiful. Nice. Nice. Oh, wow. Nice. Wow. Wow, what a gift! Okay, she was looking for somebody? No, this guy, not only is he afflicted by the dragon, but he's sworn to feel to you. Yeah, okay. into, literally fell into her lap, right? Like, from the sky. So, so she sends out a call to all, like, Targaryen bastards to try wow. to get to, to, to try for the right dragon. So, and this, this rumor goes through King's Landing. So all of these, like, Targaryen bastards in King's Landing, like, sneak out of the city to go. <laughs> so she sends out the notice and they all sneak out? That's fantastic! Because <laughs> the chance to ride a dragon. Randy they are, there's probably a lot of bastards. No, it's a big group! <laughs> right, right. They get around, you know? I mean, we're, we're talking, we're talking Genghis Khan levels. <laughs> Like a whole bunch snuck out and they're all on their way to... to yes. Yeah. Does, does um, King's Landing find out about it? Uh, like the the council? We have not heard that them respond. Oh, it seems okay, like okay. it happened too fast or they just didn't know. Oh, okay. Also, this might be a result of the Master of Whispers, the guy in charge of keeping an eye on these sorts of things, is kind of having a spat with Aemond. So he might be intentionally not telling him anything. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah, mutiny among the ranks. That's not a good sign. Yeah, and there, okay. there's mute. There's a little bit of mutiny on on uh, Rhaenyra's end as well because. Why? Because of nobility and. Well, and all yes. That? Her her son is very upset about it. Is. You mean the hot one? Yes. Uh, okay. He. He's upset about it, partially for uh, elitist stuff, but he, the root reasoning is b because he knows that this act will mean that he's going to have to fight for his claim once she dies. Like, even if they win, once she dies, because he, he's, everyone knows he's a bastard too. Ah, and and his that's point right. so he'd be on equal equal exact thing. exactly his point was like the only way, reason i had a, like a horse in this race is cuz i have a dragon and if i have a dragon it's it's hard it's hard to to argue with yeah but if all the bastards have, have a dragon, dragon i had no chance that's basically what he gonna, said it's going to be what happened after alexander the great died no, cluster. it's it's gonna be a re <laughs> it's already a cluster right now oh. it's just a repeat of what's happening now and and he's correct in that right now there's a dra there's people on both sides with dragons that are fighting for the throne and she's very in a very short-sighted way she's like I I need to win now to avoid bloodshed right and she uh -huh. want and and it makes perfect sense his stance also makes sense from his angle where he's like right. you're just pushing this problem down the road where Which I will now then become my problem yeah. and he's correct it, it absolutely will happen that way it is screwing him over down the line yeah so he, he he's being upset about it makes a lot of sense. At least writing him very well. Yeah. He sees it coming. He sees it coming. And also, I think they could have made it very simple and just be like, oh, he's elitist. And yes, there is a bit of that. Or he, he called them mongrels. There is that. <laughs> but, dude, you're a mongrel too. You're a mongrel too, dude. <laughs> but the, the logic behind it, there's a reason why he's upset. Because he knows what right. it's got, what's going what's gonna to happen to his claim to the throne. So right, it, it is, right. it's interesting the way they played that. The other uh, big objection for this was actually the dragon keepers that, that like, tend to the dragons. 
they really? they had this great argument all in high valyrian their language where they're like the dragons are sacred and that, that they're, you're letting andals touch them and like, like we have no part of this they walked out so <laughs> she has wait a minute she has no dragon keepers anymore we have, i don't know what's going to happen to that i don't know if they've walked that's out for good that's going to have to be done that's going to be a big deal but it's I gonna... kissed. <laughs> so I don't know if they just walked out for that or if they w- they're walking out for good. This, the episode ended too early. Because you got to have balls the size of watermelons to have that job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. 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 No, I agree. Oh wow! Look at that red dress she's wearing. I know. Isn't it gorgeous? The that the costuming. Is the costuming has been fantastic this whole season and even even her guard next to her the armor is spectacular yeah. the armor is beautiful wow look at that braid in the back of her hair that's beautiful i know i'd love to do that i just don't have the fingers to do that <laughs> no, well, i might if i had like an hour <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of cursing <laughs> Notice how almost everyone in that room has pale hair cuz it's all yeah. Targaryen well, bastards. Right. How many dragons does she have? Uh, you mean in like her little dragon pit basement? Yeah. Uh, quite a few, more okay. than the, her opponents. Her opponents just have Vagar, which is making everything really frustrating <laughs> for her. Oh, look really nervous. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> like, I see them flying overhead, but I've never been this close. At this point, I'd say, okay, dragon, pick which one you want. That's what she, I think that's her plan. Let's just bring them all in. Any of these guys? Pick them. Oh, wow. Wow. Now, Vermithor is not quite as old as Vagar, but he's uh, the second oldest. And, and he's big. He's, he's big. huge. He can totally take Vagar on. Right. This is why she's doing this, because Vermithor actually can do it. And so can Silverwing, which is the other one that right. doesn't have a rider. You can hear him coming. The like, s- everything's rumbling. The sound design for, around the it dragons is, is yeah. so good. And it just creates so much ominous tension. <laughs> I'm like, I can hear it coming. It sounds like Godzilla coming. <laughs> oh my god. Isn't that Look amazing? That. Wow. Screeches. Wow. He's beautiful. Wow. Oh, he's gorgeous. Wow. Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. Oh. God, he looking. Look at just the size of his nostrils. <laughs> Aww. They just captured the mad. Look oh at that shot. Oh my god, look at that shot. We're petting the nose. It's one of my favorite shots. It's so oh my good. God. I would love a screenshot of that, like a poster. They yes. should make a poster of that. That is a poster oh. worthy. Image. Yeah, isn't that a poster? It's just beautiful. I just say, okay, which one do you want? Another, eeny, meeny, look, another poster right there. Oh, look at that. No, the guy that has the biggest cojones? <laughs> that guy. Everybody get the f- I mean, get the hell out of the way. <laughs> oh, she's going up there. Is he going to eat him? Or is he going to accept him? Well, that's the question, right? Oh, wait a minute. He's going over his head. Who's he picking? Who's he picking? Who's he picking? Oh, the guy they kept showing, the guy with the beard. He he likes him. I think he picked the other guy. Uh-oh. That would be a no. Resounding. Another day in Dragonland. Oh, wow. He killed them all? They killed all the bastards? They should let them run a little bit. Wow. He was, really didn't want any of them. He ate one. Okay. <laughs> Guess he was hungry. I love how this turns into Godzilla. Just out of nowhere. I know. Oh my god. That would be no. So I guess none of them were suitable. Oh my god. She had such hope. I still think that guy with the beard that they showed. I still think he's 
he's the one that he likes because they kept showing him and he didn't look that afraid. Okay, yeah, he's uh, he's having a snack. No. Oh, there he is. I knew it. I knew it. That's him. I still think it's gonna be that guy. Yeah, snack. Whoa. <laughs> I live in the first series. They asked the Daenerys, what do dragons eat? Anything they want. <laughs> yep. This is that on full display. Yes. Oh my god, he's so huge. Oh, okay, I guess that's a no. Uh-oh, he's gonna roast her. There we go. Somebody with, somebody with cojones. Bravery. See, that's the secret, is bravery. Oh my god, see? Like, wait a minute. This one has promise. It's so good. I love it. I love it. His head, look at the size of his I head. I know, he is so freaking huge. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, there she's up there. She's going to be, like, starting to cry. Oh, see, I knew it. I knew it was him. I knew it. Because when he was standing there, he didn't look as, 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 as like, a big a chicken as the rest of them. <laughs> wow. She is crying. See? There's yeah. a tear there. For the record, we knew as well, because he, he's already been established. Like, there's a plot surrounding him, so I, like, the oh, audience knows okay, it was the him. Audience I didn't tell you because I wanted to see you to enjoy that without knowing who it would be. Well, I, I knew it from the from the, the, the moment on how he, he presented himself. He's running deeper into the dragon cave? Yes. Well, they keep showing him. Yeah, he also so, has a plot. <laughs> oh, did he just step on an egg? Did he step on an egg? He may have stepped on an egg. Oh, he's... Oh my god, he stepped on an egg. He is a dead man. He stepped on an egg? Oh, you are so dead. You are barbecue. Whoa, look at the side. What dragon is that? This is Silverwing, the other giant dragon that she's trying to find a rider for. Beautiful. I love Silverwing's design. Oh my god, he's gonna accept him? That's astonishing. That's astonishing. See, because he he didn't run away, didn't scream like a girl. He was like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'll just stay right here. <laughs> People are screaming. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh. Geez. oh. What dragon is that? <laughs> Wait a minute. Is that the other guy? Did he fly home? He's so beautiful. Oh no, this is the guy. He's like, oh my god. He's flying over the enemy territory. Oh my god. Look at the look on his face. It's so fabulous. I love the way they've done Silverwing. Just beautiful. Beautiful. They're like... Oh no! Somebody's on Silverwing. Yeah, you know what he's saying. He's like, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. He knows exactly <laughs> what that means. I was like, I gotta run to my dragon. I gotta kill him quick. The dragon's like, dude, I was just getting comfortable. Uh oh. Uh oh. I Vega looks like a dinosaur. I love how prehistoric she looks. He, he uh, yeah, she just looks so. Epic. Oh, wait a minute. He's back at Dragon No, oh, they're flying back. <laughs> I... Uh oh. He's like, oh, damn. Really? He's gonna try to do something to Dragonstone? No. No, they are. No. No. Uh oh. He's like, but I want to kill him! No, no, not today! No, you're not attacking Dragonstone alone right now. This is not happening. No. Whoa, look at that! Look on top of the big red and the golden dragon! Oh my god, and the one on top of the 
tower. Everything about that says, don't even think about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you were in a boat looking at dragons, looking at you, and, and they're all screaming at you, I know what I would do. Yeah. I would turn the boat around and go, I'm out of here. What are we? I'm sorry. What are we? I'm just passing through. <laughs> I didn't mean it. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh, but the, the the elation on that guy—he really sold it. You could just the joy, the joy, and the elation. It was spectacular. Yeah, it was spectacular. That I—that's I my favorite it. scene this episode. In an episode full of great scenes, just the yes, way. Yes. And I also love the the two dragons on the beach. That was a beautiful oh. scene. The shot, the shot of yeah. all those dragons. I mean, it's stunning. And I love that as the queen walked forward, her dragon followed her like, you know, like like her dragon has her back. Yeah, right? like he's basically saying, if sea smoke attacks, I'm attacking you. Don't don't you dare. Don't even think about it. Right, right. And I love that he had to fight with his dragon. Like, no, 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 no. Down, boy, down, no. down. We are not. <laughs> we're not attacking Dragonstone. At this time, that would be bad. Yes. But also now he is really afraid. Yeah, because... Before he was the biggest, baddest... And he still is. He still is. But Vermithor absolutely could take him on. And so could Silverwing. And he knows that. And Especially they have more of them. Especially they do it together. Exactly. Right. There's, there's only a couple dragons on the green side. So right, right. It's, it's not... It's very imbalanced. Oh, what a great episode. I know. That was fantastic. The elation. And I love that he just turns around and is like, okay. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'm done for. And then it nudges him and puts him down. And he just like, oh, I'm just going to stay right here. <laughs> <laughs> I just had a heart attack. <laughs> A heart attack caused by dragon. <laughs> yeah. I I love his reaction because it like yeah he's been scared like the whole time but like once he thinks the dragon's gonna kill him there's just like this acceptance Re and, and resolve like okay and fine, fine get it over with and, and I guess the dragon was like no screaming no begging okay I respect this dude <laughs> and then look just the the humor like the re the realization like oh I'm not getting killed oh that's hilarious. <laughs> It, it, you know, it, it almost looks like that dragon has a sense of humor. Like, okay, I like this guy. <laughs> it was so charming, that flight. <laughs> oh, that was wonderful. It's a that highlight really for me. Um, yeah, that was wonderful. I also love that shot of her, of, of her petting that huge dragon. Yeah. That was, that was spectacular. That was, that was special. That was worth it. The CGI guys, again... We drink to their long, long life. They are spectacular. They really are. Yeah. I mean, the show, actually, this episode, all in all, like, this whole thing was really good. Like, uh, Damon's plot actually started moving again. He's still in the castle. Let's be clear here. He, he has not left the spooky castle. He's not the brightest berry <laughs> on the bush, is he? <laughs> But not the sharpest tool in the shed. <laughs> the like ruler of that area passed away, like the really old guy, and now his grandson's taken over. So now like things can move, and his grandson's oh, like okay. this kid. And I, I have to, I have to uh, uh, tip my hat off to the kid that that played that. That uh, he did a fantastic job of selling that character. Oh my god! Oh, and he had okay. a hard oh. job because. He's acting against Damon, and he like he does this kid does power plays with Damon and makes it believable and like and sells it, and, like and, wow, and that's and not easy to kind do. Kind of, kind of wins. And right, right. I'm like wow, like damn. I was uh, saw and the kid. The the key is the writing supported him, but the actor sold it. Where you, I bought it. I I wow. bought that he actually basically like did a power play against Damon Targaryen and kind of won. <laughs> so Well, that's fantastic. Uh so now that plot's moving. So now he got the Riverlands on his side. 
apparently. So that will be really good for him. And then, but but in exchange, he kind of had to sacrifice a guy who was working for him. Uh, so it was brutal. He basically he executed someone for doing something that he kind of told him to do, uh, because the Riverlands were mad about it. Clearly, uh, distraught well, about that. Well, he shouldn't have sub- shouldn't have sacrificed him. He should have he should have backed him up. Uh huh. He shouldn't have made him do it in to begin with. Is what he should have done. Exactly. He's trying to pretend that he's not the one who ordered that. Yeah. That was an intense scene. And then afterwards, he walks into his room, and then he has another vision of Viserys. And I love this vision of Viserys, where he's like, this, when he's old and decrepit, and he has his crown in his hands, and he's talking about how he never wanted it, and how awful it was, and how you always wanted it, Damon. And like, do you still want it? Right? It was a, it was a great scene. Okay. I, I love every scene with them. The, those two just are so... They have, they have a, a really good dynamic. Oh my god. Every scene well, with so them. It's due to the strength of the, the actor. Yes. So. They, they play off each other so well. That was a highlight for the non-dragon portions of, of the episode. Interesting. The final episode is next week. Oh, okay. So okay. Well, I'm very... I'm sure they're going to leave it on a high note, so I can't wait to see. Yeah, I I am so excited because it they're really setting up some hardcore dragon combat. And we have so many dragons in play, right? Let's see where that goes. Let's see that where that goes. Well, thanks for showing that to me, honey. Yep. You have a great night, and I love you bunches. I love you too, Mom.